In this lesson, we look at a really cool technique to turn repeating decimals into fractions because you should already know how to turn some decimals into fractions. You should know 4, 0.4 as 4 tenths or 2 fifths, but it's 4 tenths because the 4 is in the tenths place and 4 is the value, so 4 over 10 is how you'd write 0.4. But 0.4 repeating is different. It is not 4 tenths because it's a different value, so obviously it has to have a different fraction. They can't be the same fraction, but actually have different values. Um, and also that four is repeating over and over, whereas in this example, the point four terminates in that tenths position. So the technique that we're gonna look at today is when we have a repeating value right after the decimal point. So for example, point four repeating would be the kind of examples we're gonna look at. You cannot use this example for ones like 0.23 where only the 3 repeats, right? This would be 0.23333. The 3 is repeating, not both of them. That has a different technique, so which I'll show you if you really care about in class. You can let me know. But we're going to look at the most basic type of repeating decimals and turn those into fractions. Because as we learned in an earlier lesson, repeating decimals are rational numbers. And rational numbers mean that you can write them like a fraction. Now, whether you know the fraction or not, that doesn't change the fact that there is a fraction out there in fraction land that equals point for repeating. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to determine the last place value in the pattern that repeats. So, for example, this would be repeating in the tenths place. But you could also have something repeating in the hundredths place, the thousandths place, etc. Then what you would want to do is subtract 1 from the place value of the pattern because it's very close, but it's not quite exactly that position because it repeats. So you're off by 1, and there is a mathematical reason, which, as I said, I'll go through in class if you're very interested. That's going to be the denominator. The pattern that's repeating is the numerator. And for a fraction, all you need is a denominator and a numerator, and then you can create the fraction. So all, the last thing to do is just to simplify if you can. So let's check out that point for repeating example. So this repeats in the tenths place because there's only one decimal place. That's repeating. So 10 minus 1 gives me 9. So 9 is going to be the denominator. The value that's repeating, 4, is going to be the numerator. 4 over 9. And since it doesn't reduce, that's my answer. Boom, done. Next question. Speaking of the next question, in the next one, we actually have a little extra work. We're realizing that this is repeating two place values. So this is unlike that example that I mentioned up top where just the 3 is repeating, here they're both repeating. So this would be negative 0 0.23, 23, 23, etc., which is different than what I showed you above. So I can use my technique for this because everything is repeating. So it's repeating in the hundredths spot. So 100 minus 1, whoops, that's 1,001. 100 minus 1 is 99. So 99 is my denominator. The value that repeats 23 is the numerator and 23 is prime so it doesn't reduce. Oh, and it's negative. I have to make sure I put a negative sign in there. So negative 23 over 99 is the answer. And you can go into your calculator, grab your calculator and check 4 divided by 9 is 0. 0.44444 repeating. 23 over 99 is 0. 0.232323 repeating. So you can confirm these in a calculator if you'd like, and I would encourage you to do so. In the last example, example B, we're going to um, do a little extra step because we have not just the 25 repeating, but now we also have a number in front of, right, a whole number. So we'll worry about it at the end. Let's just worry about the new part, 0.25 repeating. And so just like the earlier example, this is repeating in the hundredth spot. So 100 minus 1 is 99. So that means my denominator is 99. The 25 is repeating. 
so that's going to be the numerator. And you can check, grab your calculator, 25 divided by 99 is 0.252525, etc. And now let's just remember that there was a 1 in front, so this is going to be a mixed number, 1 and 25 99ths. And I picked some terrible examples for the purpose that none of these actually reduce. 25 99ths does not reduce either. Um, but you should always be checking for reducing. Now, if you wanted to, you could turn it into a, into an improper fraction. And actually, maybe I should because it just says a fraction. Um, and this is not a fraction. It's technically a mixed number. So I'm actually going to erase that this is my final answer because I should do exactly what it wants. So this turns into 124 over 99. And it still doesn't reduce. So I can just box it here, um, and this is going to be the better answer because it asks it uh, for it as a fraction. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you see me in class.